All right. Marcus M. Garvey. Born Marcus Messiah Garvey on August 17th, 1887. In St. Anne's Bay, Jamaica. 1887 is uh, one year after Cuba abolished slavery. That was 1886. So Marcus Garvey is born actually one year after Cuba abolished slavery. Born Marcus Messiah Garvey on August 17th, 1887 in St. Anne's Bay, Jamaica, to Sarah and Marcus Garvey, Sr. Sarah and Marcus Garvey, Sr. were themselves members of Jamaica's unmixed Negro population. Marcus Garvey, Sr. is said to have been a descendant of Jamaica's maroon population. Maroons were the early African slaves who escaped slavery to establish communities in the mountains of Jamaica. These people never mixed their blood with the other races, so they maintained their original color, which was black, which is black. Marcus Garvey, as a young child, played with all neighborhood kids, irregardless of their skin color. Garvey, in fact, did have an unusual high number of white friends. One of his closest friends was a little white girl Garvey played with as a child. She was the daughter of a white Methodist minister who lived nearby with his family. When Garvey was 14 years old, she told Garvey, okay, she was being sent away to study in Scotland. In saying goodbye to Garvey, she told him that she must no longer see or write to him because he was a member of the black race. She told him this using derogatory language. At this point, Garvey, young Garvey, was forced to see the differences between the races. And Garvey, young Marcus Garvey, never again played with neighborhood white kids, even if they were next door neighbors. And it is fair to say that at this point, the black national, nationalist instincts in Marcus Garvey are born. Marcus Garvey traveled to London where he learned about the conditions of the Negro race in other parts of the world. Garvey was influenced by two educators. One of them was Deuce Muhammad Ali from Egypt and the other one was Booker T. Washington for the from the United States. In Latin America, Marcus Garvey saw the conditions of Negroes as deplorable, no better than in his own native Jamaica. On August 1st, 1914, Marcus Garvey established the Universal Negro Improvement Association. The Universal Negro Improvement Association, the UN. IA as his acronym in Harlem as his main interest it was to begin drawing the people of the black race together it warned about the universal disunity existing among the people of the Negro race and it called upon all people of the Negro or African parentage to join in a great crusade to rehabilitate the black race. The Constitution of the Universal Negro Improvement Association read as follows. To establish a universal confraternity among the black race to promote the spirit of race, pride, and love, to reclaim the falling of our race, 
to administer and to assist the needy, to assist in civilizing the backward tribes of Africa, to strengthen the imperialism of independent African states, to establish commissionaries of agency in the principal countries of the world for the protection of all Negroes irrespective of their nationality, to promote a conscious Christian worship among the native tribes of Africa, to establish universities and colleges and secondary schools for the further education and culture of the boys and girls of the black race, to conduct a worldwide commercial and industrial intercourse.